Hello everyone. Welcome to AITechOne.com. My name is Sumit, and today I'm going to show you how to perform the Salesforce and Currency Converter integration using Lightning Web Component. Today we'll be going to take this integration to the next level by incorporating a currency converter into our Salesforce application, and uh, using this integration the users, they will be able to perform the real-time currency conversion right within Salesforce. So before I begin, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon to get the, uh, to get the updates on the latest videos. So before we begin and show you the actual implementation, mm -hmm. we have to prepare our environment. And in order to prepare our environment, First of all, we need a Salesforce developers, uh, developers edition. So those who have already set up the dev Salesforce developer edition, that's fine. Those who haven't, they can, first of all, they need to set up a Salesforce developer edition in order to perform this integration. The next step is we will be going to connect to an external API. Third step will be, we'll be going to build the currency converter component in LWC using Visual Studio Code. Then we'll be performing an integration with the Salesforce. And finally, we deploy the component from Visual Studio Code onto Salesforce and test it. So in our case, our, our, we have already established a Salesforce sale, uh, developers edition. So now the next thing is we need to connect to an external API. So we'll be going to figure it out that which external API we will be going to use for currency converter. And for this, I decided to use API layer. Now this API layer is an app which helps to integrate, which helps to uh, perform the integration and to, to make an API call from your Salesforce onto API, uh, API layer.com uh, to get the latest updates, to, to get the latest currency. So the very first step is you have to sign up, you have to register yourself. And after you register yourself, you will be able to get the API key. You can see the, you can fetch the API key. Uh, also, once you register successfully, you will be see, you can see there are various options we have. And here we have to look for currency data API. Now in currency data API, when you click on currency data API, it will take you to the next step. Here you can see your API. So this API key we will be going to use from the LWC component whenever we want to make an API call to this API layer. And if I scroll down, I can see other details. These are the available endpoints for the APIs. So if you want to return all the available currencies, we can go with this. Get the most recent exchange rate, use live, convert one currency to another, historical time frame, and change. So these are the API, these are the API endpoints. And you can scroll down. Now, if you want to test the, if you want to test it, uh, how it is going to work, you can click on live demo. And when you click on live demo, it will take you to our next tab. And in next tab, here are the various options you can check. So here I'm having an option called get convert. I just want to convert an amount of, uh, let's say $200 from USD to INR. And when I click on run code, this will automatically replace here and I would be able to see this amount is 200 from USD to INR and the amount is 1688.2996. So this conversion takes place based according to the latest conversion rates. I have tested this API call from my postman also. As you can see the same API call I have tested from my postman and here also I'm getting the same, same amount. So this conversion rate may vary depends because as you know that it's very difficult to get to to uh, to get the uh, to get the actual conversion it, it depends on the uh, it depends on the live conversion rate so the calculation may vary so don't worry about that so this is our first step now the next step is we need to set up a lightning web component so we need to we need to design a lightning web component and in order to design a lightning web component i will be using visual studio code and in this Visual Studio Code, I have already established a connection between this Visual Studio Code, the Salesforce, and I have created a new project here. How to create a project in LWC? 
how do we uh, how do we create an uh, LWC component and deploy that deploy and test the LWC component on the Salesforce? So for that, uh, you can visit my uh, you can visit my existing videos. I'll share the link in the description so that you can follow that link and uh, you can create and test the LWC component by yourself. Now the very first step here is I created one controller class. So this will be my Apex class and the class name is currency converter class. And in this currency converter class, I create one converted function by, by using the annotation as at the rate aura enable. And it can uh, basically three parameters I'm passing here. So three parameters are passed, uh, string current source currency, target currency and amount. Then I made a SCDP request and SCD, I create two SCDB response because when we make a SCDB response, so the third party or the API layer app will respond back to sales photo in order to store that response, we required this. So this is to make a request and this is to store the response. Then I SCD, uh, I create one variable called SCDB is going to do SCDP. For today, I just write the string dot value of system dot today. So that uh, whatever date we pass from that date, we can, uh, so basically date uh, from the today's date, we convert it into a string format. Then I just create request dot set endpoint. And this is the endpoint URL convert to the currency we wanted to, like we want to convert into which currency, the target currency plus from source currency amount we are passing. So this, all these details are passed and the date for the current date. So today will be the current date. It will pass today's date. Next, the method will be get because we are calling a method. We are calling this URL and we have to assign, we have to pass the API key also now. As I told you, how do we retrieve the API key? This API key you will get from the API here. This API key you will receive from here. This will be your API. So API layer, you have to copy this API key and paste it here. So that's the API. Then I just make a I just made a request using HTTP dot send request and whatever is the response return that response stored into this. Then I just convert into basically I, the response will be in a JSON. I deserialize the JSON and convert it into string and store into response map and uh, it is going to return the response in a double. The response will be in double and you can see here also I'm just passing uh, like it is returning the value in a double. That is our Apex controller class. Now in HTML, I create this HTML, comp uh, I just create this lightning web component HTML and in this, in this HTML, I created a lightning card in order to show lightning currency converter. Then I just have the icon division class. So this is all styling in order to create a component, in order to create a component over there. Lightning combo box because I just add a drop down. Uh, I just want to add a drop down in order to display the source currency. So basically, we have two drop downs as you can see one combo box for the source currency, one for the target currency. And uh, options, options basically, what we did, we declare options over here in our uh, in our JS in our controller. And in this controller, this is the option. It's a list of the option. It is going to return the option, the currencies we have. So if you want to add more currencies, you can add here. So right now I added only three currencies, US dollars, GB, uh, British, uh, Britain pound and Indian rupee. If you want to add more currencies, you can add it. And uh, these currency, these options, these currencies will be list out, will be uh, displayed in both in the source currency and the target currency. Then uh, there will be an amount of amount box, input box in order to get input what, how much amount we would like to convert so that we have, uh, that we want the user to enter. And then there will be a button and that button is going to call handle convert button. And for the output, we created one lightning input in order to display the converted amount. So this is the lightning component. Uh, I will drop the description. I think I will, I will drop the, uh, source code in the description. You can get it from there. You can check it from there. Then I created a convert. Uh, I just created this uh, client side JavaScript. And in this client side JavaScript, the first step is I just add a reference to the Apex method. Then 
here i just add source currency and target currencies and i just uh, assign the default currencies as usd and inr amount is a blank and track converted amount because we were, whatever amount converted after the calculation we would like to display the output here in the in uh, this input field then that's the option now handle source change handle target change so whenever whenever we make a change in the source or in the target i would be like to track that and we just store this into source currency and the target currency whenever a user uh, enter an amount so that amount we used to track here from the handle amount say this dot amount is equal to this and when user click on the button we are making a call to the apex function where, and in this apex function we have to pass three parameters source currency target currency and amount and i'm passing the three values here source currency target currency and the amount and we are i'm waiting for the result and once it returns i just assign the result into converted amount is equal to result and it will display the amount over here in this input field now let me show you the meta xml for the lwc component so i just display this lwc component on the app page home page and utility bar why i added on a utility bar i'll show you that but first of all uh, we have made the changes we have done the changes finally what we have to do we have to save all and at the end what we need to do we have to finally deploy the source to org including the apex classes and the component so once we deploy this on uh, once we deploy this onto salesforce what i have done this lightning component i i just i added on a home page application home page and you can see this is my lightning component on my application home page uh, so i just place this lightning component on the home page how do we add a lightning component on a home page you have to click on this gear icon go to edit page it will take you to the lightning app builder and from the lightning app builder uh, under custom you will get the component and you have to drag and drop the component and uh, drop it on your page so like this way i added a lightning current uh, live currency converter app on application home page now let me test it so as you can see uh, the select source currency is us dollar amount i would like to uh, i would like to convert 500 dollars into inr and when i click on convert so it will make a request to api layer using the api uh, using the endpoint or uh, based on the endpoint with, along with the parameters and the api layer will receive the request perform the operation and revert back and that output will store here this is we added on a home page now uh, the purpose of adding to the utility bar is when we click on utility bar we can quickly convert from here also because for that we do or because this i added on a sales application but this will be available with all of so we can add this uh, uh, we can add this utility bar with all the applications converted amount the conversion takes place that's the way we integrate salesforce with L, uh, salesforce with ex third party applications in order to get the latest conversion rates that's all in this tutorial if you like this video post your comments in comment box press the like button to you can share these videos if you have any requirements on the customized training for the salesforce customized training you can reach out to us on www.aitech1.com you can visit our website or you can drop an email at the rate info at the rate aitech1.com or you can contact us on the given number thanks everyone thanks for watching keep coding bye everyone